and then Chag, of course, from Mexico. He was the one of the top Bayonetta's from Mexico. Um, I believe top eight at Smash Factor, the, the last one that I went to anyway. Um, and he has some notable wins from Smash 4, like Larry Lur, for example. Um, I've, I've said this before, but Chag's a very young player, so uh, you can definitely see sometimes, depending on who he's playing, you can see his hands are shaking, or he, he gets a little bit nervous at times. I'm not trying to say that he's like bad or anything, it's just that he's not, he's not quite as seasoned as like some of the other players have been uh, in, in, in this game, for example. But as a trade-off, he gets those young man reflexes. So it's a nice little, <laughs> it's a nice little trade. Very true. All right, well, let's go ahead and see. These guys are just gonna put in their names real quick, get those tags in, and we'll get this match started very soon for you guys. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if a lot of these people that used to play Bayonetta still have a Bayonetta. Um, I feel like they've tried it and then realized that Bayonetta doesn't quite flow like she did in Smash Four. Yeah. So they probably moved on to other characters for the most part from my scene. There's still um, a couple of people like Insomniac that have committed to Bayo, and I believe Gap Geist has also pretty much committed to Bayo from my scene, but we'll have to see. It. Hey, nothing wrong with leveling up your character. Alright, good old Ludwig. Inkling. Right. Gonna go Inkling for this matchup. He does have a Politena as well, which I can see also doing well in this matchup, but I think he's predominantly Three, first two. level. One, go! Matchups as well. I think I just accidentally turned off my mic when I think I'm back. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear. Wonderful. All right. So this matchup, as far as uh, this matchup, as far as mobility goes, I think Inkling has this in the bag. Uh, this is definitely going to be a lot of dash shielding uh, when it comes to this mecha Koopa. Yeah, I mean, just in general, Inkling has very fast out of shield options, very fast aerials in general, and kind of denies ground movement from Bowser Jr. using that roller. Inkling's kind of short, too, so she, she has a bit of a small hurt box. Still keeping up the damage, though. Got that control. Caught the Mecha Koopa, so Chad kind of got blown up there. Wasn't able to get the uh, down to that shield there to punish. Unfortunately, Roller doesn't cross up, so that actually meant that Ketchup could have gotten a punish, but he thought that he was going to go behind him, so it didn't quite work out for him there. But hopefully he knows that for the next time around when we move on to other opportunities for him to punish. Yeah, the second you shield that roller, it's time to go in on Inkling. Yeah, definitely, it's it, it's basically incentivizing them to not just throw it out every single second of the day. Yep, keeping up that neutral game. And it catches the Mecha Koopa before he oh. can start walking. Very smart. That path. Look at that. Okay. He's trying to rely on the Cannonball to drop down a little bit earlier than he wanted to. That was a good cross-up uh, with the back air from Ketchup. Yeah, okay. but he's going to get blown up. Yep, that's just a free kill for Inkling. Of course, they did make it harder to mash out of it at higher percent, so we'll have to see. Okay, back air into Portal. Especially out of the early percent, there's a lot of setups that you can do off of Inkling aerials into like Portal grabs, and if you think you have the enough frame advantage, stuff like that. So he's doing, he's showing his prowess with the character as well. Uh, trying to punish the uh, roller once again, but with a grab this time, and that is a very slow grab. There's definitely some better options out there for Bouncer. Yeah. Here. Well, Chag was trying to figure out, I think, at the beginning how he was going to react to Inkling Roller, and now he's canceling it uh, using that jump going around him. Ketchup is trying to be doing something to intercept it, but Chag's one step ahead and just gets those cross up the back airs, and he's got the lens control now, which is very important. Oh, yeah. That was a neat little cross up with the uh, with the side B from Ketchup. I, I really like the way he was using his mobility there, and he was able to get to the center of the stage really well. Taking that distance just to be able to recharge that ink. Oh yeah, and one more back here. Got the edge guard position here. Slap on available and another roller gonna come out. I don't think it's gonna bury because he started jumping and you can't bury it when your opponent's in the air. Ran out of ink too. Just the right moment. It, you know, these platforms seem like the only real way that Ketchup's gonna be able to throw out these Mega Googles and these cannonballs. Uh, it's just mobility. Uh, this dash thing from, uh, from England is way too potent. Okay, I like that from Jack. He didn't try to reversal him. He just went back to neutral and then tried to continue on his pressure from there. But Ketchup's going to be able to intercept him. He's still down 121% on this next stock, and Inkling has a lot of options to try and catch him off guard. Oh. Like an up tilt to up air potentially, but not going to work out there. Yeah, and I think one of the saving graces is that Buster Jr. is relatively heavy when he's in his cart. So uh, it's going to be a little harder to kill, but he is going to be combo for the most part. But that's only I, if Ketchup allows himself to get hit. Ooh, yep, just like that. You can air dodge out of that at higher percents. I don't know if Ketchup can press the button or what happened there, but that's not quite going to work out for him, unfortunately. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, within that forward, it has great implications. But you know what? He's able to get back to a nice little state here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Upbeat. 
Yep, uh, you can do that is, uh, if you notice your opponent's going high, then you can go for the clown card up B to be able to cover that. And still, you got those setups with the clown card into the up B into like the hammer hit. So still got a lot of stuff going for him, but let's see how Chag tries to keep under control here. And I gotta say, I really like this awareness from Ketchup as well. Like he's really starting to use the Mega Koopa only when he's in advantage and not just throwing it out willy-nilly because he knows he's gonna be caught. There's far too much lag on uh, a lot of Bowser Jr. specials. Nice there. Uh, never gonna try to catch him recovering, but of course Inkling has a lot of different recovery options just because he can mix up the timing very easily on how he gets back to the stage because it has such great distance. How was Inkling's air dodge? Do you know? Inkling's air dodge is alright, but uh, sometimes it doesn't reach quite to the stage. You gotta be at a certain distance. So it lasts for a very long time just because Inkling is semi floating. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay. Does that make a coup for it out? Oh, I like that. Dare will send them to the sides. I'm pretty sure Chak controlled that to be able to get the hitbox where he's able to get stage control. Very nice stuff from Chak. Good awareness from his character. Ketchup is just having none of that splat bomb. I like what he's doing here. Oh, crossing up in front. Yeah, it's a very risky move. Dare out of shield is going to be able to send to that tech chase situation. Doesn't quite get the jab lock though, so oh. got another opportunity, but just run past him, get that force smash. That's going to be able to close it out. I respect the tactic though. He's trying to use his own side B to combat the, the roller. I thought maybe there might have been a clink there, but no, roller just beat that completely. I think he caught him on startup a bit before the armor could come out. Uh, mm, that, so that is a I think that might have been what happened. There is a reasonable amount of startup, and he was already in roller animation, so that's probably why he lost in that specific scenario. But you think uh, Super Armor would have been able to plow through? I mean, I'd imagine. I actually don't know how that interacts, so I'd have to research that later. So I'll keep that in mind later on. Maybe we'll find out in the set. Two, yep. All right, here we go, though. Going to smash a very uh, much smaller stage, so a little bit less room for both of these two to move around, but I don't know if that would necessarily benefit or deny either character, like, their options. Yeah, only one platform in the middle here. Good forward air, however. Yeah, these these disjoints are going to make a huge difference. That forward smash, oh my god, it can be safe on shield if you max face it. Whoa! As you get back on stage, ooh, committal, down smash. I know that Chag was at a high percent, so it was reasonable for him to go for that, but that's going to actually cause him to lose that control, and all of a sudden, he's been comboed to 71%, and he's lost the stage control. That was a good point. Nothing like a good old simple move that can just send you off the side, whether it kills you or not. Good trade there on the back air, clanking with that forward smash. That's going to be able to allow him to survive a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, that one with jab. It takes you places, it really does. Yep, if you press buttons oh. a lot, then it's kind of unfortunate. You can get blown up by Roller quite often. Great fastball, able to avoid that Mecha Koopa. And he's got a lot oh. of options. Oh, and it trades right there! Yeah, not getting the kill. Yeah, he's trying to set up into the dare, into the up air afterwards when it saves that momentum, but it's not quite going to work out there. <laughs> trying to catch a roll. I respect it, I respect it. It's 0%, you can pretty much do whatever. Ooh, gets a landing hitbox on that pair, doesn't get that shield grab out, but still keeping up the control at the ledge. And I like that, uses the high arc on this platform just to keep him off stage and afraid to try and come back to center stage. Right, that there is really good for setting up a stage presence. Wow, okay, um, Mega Koopa just went right through Inkling and nothing happened. Yeah, Mega Koopa doesn't have the hitbox until it starts walking, so if it's still bouncing on the ground from the startup event, then it won't work. So you can just go right through it. I thought I saw it walking. No, it was still bouncing from the from the down B animation. But regardless, he's out of ink, but he's gonna be able to recharge just fine. A lot of these top inkling mains are really good at being able to know how just how much ink they need to be able to continue on the game. They usually don't go for full charge, they go for like a quarter or right to where the line is so that they can get that flat bomb and just like that. Another up throw into an up air that's still gonna connect. Yeah, yeah, there's not really uh, what, which move uh, takes the most ink uh, ink from inkling? Would it be the flat bomb? Oh uh, yeah, the flat bomb. It takes up the most, probably. And it's, it's pretty much with the canon of the game, as far as I'm aware. All right, edge guarding time. No, I've seen a lot of faltering from Ketchup when it comes to his edge guarding. Uh, not like he can't do it. I've seen him do edge guarding very well, but when it comes to uh, Mecha Koopa, I see him kind of he'll try to pick it up and end up jabbing instead. You gotta clean up that edge guarding. I mean, just in general, it's just kind of difficult to either edge guard uh, in English just because he's in so much uh, recovery options that they have and they can go so low where a character like Ludwig may not be able to contest that. Ooh, and, and there is Roller right there. Yeah. 
Oh, that was a neat little cross up. The uh, track wasn't entirely ready for that. Ooh, I like that. He actually used the wave plan. He tried to elicit a reaction out of him and try to continue up forward afterwards with that uh, quick landing on the platform. Not quite going to work out there, but still 124% onto catch up and pretty much one roller, one good up smash, forward smash. Even just like a back air setup into anything, we'll be able to close it out. So catch up's got to be really careful. I just noticed it looked like when Chag had the Mega Kuba in his hand, when Ketchup went for an attack, that's gonna seal it out. But when Ketchup went for an attack, he ended up extending his hitbox because he hit the Mega Kuba while it was still in his hand, while it was still in Chag's hand. Mm -hmm. So that's that's interesting. Uh, 